Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are in this world. This is Hedgen Lee with a morning update for Bitcoin. Ah, so overnight prices did pierce this briefly and has come back. So I think wave five of three could be in. And we are working on wave four. <clears throat> Time has elapsed, so I will move everything shifted to the right. And so this means that this ABC 535 five, will most likely have a lower low to 1092. The hourly MACD is pretty oversold, but due for this wave four bounce. And if you try to play this bounce, sure. It'll give you some profit as well. And then this fifth wave of five could hit 1092. Could the uh, correction be complete? Yes, it could, but I don't think so. I don't think it's complete yet. A, B, C. A lot of people are saying, oh, the CME coming in. They're going to make this, crash this market, et cetera, et cetera. <clears throat> well, I, I, I'm, I don't read the news. I don't read the fundamentals, so I'm not really paying attention to any of that. But I do know this, I mean, whatever the reasons are being given, are being associated as a reason for the move for the price declining. That's very understandable. The only thing that bothered me about this head and shoulders was that I didn't get, I didn't really see the volume confirmation. I mean, technically, you should see the volume of the head a lot higher than that of the shoulders, but it's quite the opposite. Look, the left shoulder is much higher than the volume, highest peak of the volume of the head. <clears throat> and the right shoulder has the highest volume peak. Technically, you're supposed to have the shoulder volume, the head volume, and the shoulder, shoulder volume like this. <clears throat> Basically, outline the reflection of this pattern. So, technically speaking, it's not a full fledged confirmed head and shoulders. And the implication of that is maybe, whoops, if this is so, it's clearly this is not fully confirmed by volume. And if you go and read about head and shoulders top, you will see how the volume should be and needs to be confirming <clears throat> the head and shoulders. And if this here was wave. Five. Well, before I get to that, I want to show you also. Now, a lot of people are probably wondering as to how low we're going to go. Well, no one knows for sure. This is all a process of probabilities. <clears throat> now, if you see this line that I drew last night, from a forward discernment perspective, you can go, well, what if price goes up 
down here again. Well, we can call this left shoulder, the head, and the right shoulder. And if that's the case, the volume is really screwed up. You have here the volume of the left shoulder going this high and, and the volume of the head going lower and the volume of the right shoulder going higher. That, that doesn't make sense. <clears throat> that doesn't follow the requirement of a head and shoulders confirmation, volume confirmation. So this does not have, would not have volume confirmation either. The head is done. If the head is done, then the right shoulder is next. And then if the projection of this comes, yeah, come from the top of the head to this neckline, let's say, <clears throat> that would be 6,000-ish. And I've seen those numbers before being called out, yes. And if that's the case, then the minimum target will be 6,000. Okay. I'm not saying that is my primary count. No. Just from an awareness perspective. But what my thinking is, is that I was looking at this last night again, and I was thinking, boy, if this is wave five, and we're doing an ABC from wave five, okay. Hmm. The thing is, what's, what's really standing out to me about this, here is one, two, three, ABC. The other one is this is A, B, C. Hmm. This isn't really impulsive. It's not like one, two, three, four, five, like what you're seeing here. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> so well, I guess what I'm saying is, let's remove some of the markers. Guess what I'm saying is if this is five, the top, then this ABC could be an A. This ABC could be a B. And what kind of flats do <coughs> cryptos love to do? Expanded flats. So A, three, B. And we're looking at the C wave. So what I would do is move this back here. Move that up here. Keep to see where it is. <clears throat> All right, so three, three, Five is what kind of an ABC correction? And in this case, I believe we have an expanded flat. The reason why I'm leaning towards expanded flat is because the damn volume is not confirming the head and shoulders.
Okay. So I think <clears throat> we have a probable pathway for an expanded flat. <clears throat> and an expanded flat is 3, 3, 5. If this was the top, 3 ABC subways of A, ABC subways of B, and then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So let, now let me label the impulse waves of C, because C wave always has five waves. I can go, for example, one, two, three, I'm sorry. Oops. One, two, three, four. So this will be my primary count. Even if people are calling for head and shoulders here, okay, but the volume is not confirming. The volume on the head is supposed to be highest. And if the bigger the head and shoulders, the more prominent the volume difference should be. And I'm not seeing that. And that's the only thing that bothered me about this smaller head and shoulders. Looks like a head and shoulder, smells like a head and shoulder, tastes like a head and shoulder, moves like a head and shoulder. But it isn't technically because the volume never confirmed. <clears throat> and what I see here is clearly A, B, C. So I will now label the subways of A. A, B, C. <clears throat> and then the subways of B. A, B, C. So I have A, B, C for red A, A, B, C for red B, and look how the B goes higher than the peak. That's an expanded flat. Expanded flat looks like this. A, B goes higher than the start of A. And then C goes lower than the bottom of A. So A, B goes higher than the start of A. C goes lower than the bottom of A. <clears throat> I think maybe wave four could potentially come up and touch the support and come back down to maybe 10,992. So that's my analysis. I know many are calling for 6,000, 6,000, 6,000. Okay. 6,000 it is for them. I'm not saying they're wrong. I'm not saying I'm not saying the analysis is bad. No. It's just my analysis is different. And one of the basis of it is the volume does not confirm. 
And if you go to the Magi book, you will see one of the requirements is that the head and shoulders top and bottom, in this case the head and shoulders top, the volume must confirm. And it isn't even close. So I still remain to the fact that this is a healthy correction. And we are seeing an expanded flat. And now we are at the end stage of this C wave. Let's see what happens to the price during the day. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I'm doing the best I can to screen the comments. <clears throat> the first thing I look for in the comments, because there's so many of them now, I look for the requests. Because that's the, that's the triage. And then I, I see if I can find a comment that I can input into, and then charts that the people have might put up with the attempts of value wave counts. So I'm doing the best I can on that. It's not because I don't care or what have you, which I've seen the naysayers say that I have no involvement. There's just so many comments. And I'm doing the best I can. I do read most of them. <clears throat> if there's anything urgent during the day, I will get back to you with a midday update. Have a good day. Guess what I'm saying is if this is five, the top, then this ABC could be an A. This ABC could be a B. And what kind of flats do <coughs> cryptos love to do? Expanded flats. So A, three, B. And we're looking at the C wave. So what I would do is move this back here. Move that up here. Keep to see where it is. <clears throat> All right, so three, three, is what kind of an ABC correction? And in this case, I believe we have an expanded flat. The reason why I'm leaning towards expanded flat is because the damn volume is not confirming the head and shoulders. Okay, so I think <clears throat> we have a probable pathway for an expanded flat. <clears throat> and an expanded flat is three, three, five. If this was the top three ABC subways of A, ABC subways of B, and then we have one, two, three, four, five. Five. 
So this will be my primary count. Even if people are calling for head and shoulders here, okay, but the volume is not confirming. The volume on the head is supposed to be highest. And if the bigger the head and shoulders, the more prominent the volume difference should be. And I'm not seeing that. And that's the only thing that bothered me about this smaller head and shoulders. Looks like a head and shoulder, smells like a head and shoulder, tastes like a head and shoulder, moves like a head and shoulder, but it isn't technically because the volume never confirmed. <clears throat> and what I see here is clearly A, B, C. So I will now label the subways of A. A, B, C. <clears throat> and then the subways of B. A, B, C. So I have A, B, C for red A. A, B, C for red B. And look how the B goes higher than the peak. That's an expanded flat. An expanded flat looks like this. A, B goes higher than the start of A. And then C goes lower than the bottom of A. So A, B goes higher than the start of A, C goes lower than the bottom of A. <clears throat> I think maybe wave four could potentially come up and touch the support and come back down to maybe 10, 9, 9, 2. Tastes like a head and shoulder, moves like a head and shoulder, but it isn't technically because the volume never confirmed. <clears throat> and what I see here is clearly A, B, C. So I will now label the subways of A. A, B, C. <clears throat> and then the subways of B. A, B, C. So I have A, B, C for red A. A, B, C for red B. And look how the B goes higher than the peak. That's an expanded flat. An expanded flat looks like this. A, B goes higher than the start of A. And then C goes lower than the bottom of A. So A, B goes higher than the start of A, C goes lower than the bottom of A. <clears throat> I think maybe wave four could potentially come up and touch the support and come back down to maybe 10, 9, 9, 2. So that's my analysis. I know many are calling for 6,000, 6,000, 6,000. Okay. 6,000 it is for them. 
I'm not saying they're wrong. I'm not saying I'm not saying the analysis is bad. No. It's just my analysis is different. And one of the basis of it is the volume does not confer. And if you go to the McGee book, you will see one of the requirements is that the head and shoulders top and bottom, in this case, the head and shoulders top, the volume must confirm. And it isn't, it isn't even close. That would be 6,000 ish. And I've seen those numbers before being called out, yes. And if that's the case, then the minimum target will be 6,000. Okay. I'm not saying that is my primary count. No. Just from an awareness perspective. But what my thinking is, is that I was looking at this last night again. And I was thinking, boy, if this is wave five, and we're doing an ABC from wave five, okay. Hmm. The thing is, what's, what's really standing out to me about this, here is one, two, three, ABC. The other one is, this is ABC. Hmm. This isn't really impulsive. It's not like one, two, three, four, five, like what you're seeing here. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> so, well, I guess what I'm saying is, let's remove some of the markers. I guess what I'm saying is, if this is five, the top, then this ABC could be an A. This ABC could be a B, and what kind of flats do <coughs> cryptos love to do? Expanded flats. So A, 3, B, and we're looking at the C wave. So what I would do is move this back here, move that up here, keep to see where it is. <clears throat> All right, so three, three, five is what kind of an ABC correction? And in this case, I believe we have an expanded flat. <clears throat> 